Hello guys, I'm back with another Gigantix character design tutorial and I will show you how you can create this by using only PowerPoint. You can also check out Gigantix channel for more character design ideas. I'll give the link in the video description. So let's start our today's tutorial. First we need to pick this rounded corner rectangle, drag it over here, resize it from both sides, increase the roundness a bit. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. After that, pick a oval shape and holding ctrl shift drag it over here. Then go to format, click on shape fill, change the color. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Now holding ctrl shift drag it to right and it will be duplicated. Now resize it holding ctrl shift again, change its color. To this. Again holding Ctrl Shift drag this circle to right and it will be duplicated once again. Now pick a rectangle, make it a smaller one, bring it to here, rotate it, now place over this circle, rotate it a bit more, now press Ctrl D to duplicate, place it over here, again make a copy of it, now select this 3 rectangle. Go to format, click on merge shape and make them union. Now select this circle and this rectangle, click on merge shape and select intersect. Then we need to change its color from shape fill, holding the shift key, place it over the previous circle. Now select this two circle, press ctrl G to group. Again holding the shift key, place it over this circle. Then again selecting all the circles, press ctrl G to group. Holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to here and it will be duplicated. Select this two, bring them to here. Zooming a bit, pick a rectangle shape, drag it over here, place it in the exact middle, go to format, click on shape fill and change this color. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Now resize this rectangle and drag this circle to left a bit. Select all the shapes and press Ctrl G to group. Place it in the exact middle and holding Ctrl Shift make it a bit bigger. Pick a oval shape again, holding Ctrl Shift make a smaller one. Go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Now holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to here and it will be duplicated. Again change this color from shape fill Holding Ctrl Shift, make it a smaller one, place over this circle, select this two and press Ctrl G to group. Again resize it, bring it to here, right click on it and send it to back. Then holding Ctrl Shift, drag this to right and it will be duplicated. Right click on it and send it to back again. Now selecting the spectacles and placing it a bit upward. Again pick a oval shape, drag it over here. Then go to format and manually changing its size to 0.06. Then change its color from shape fill and make no outline. Then bring it to down and holding ctrl shift drag it to here and it will be duplicated. Now select this two and press ctrl G to group and place it in the exact middle of the face. Then selecting this two year shape I am taking them a bit upward. Now to create curly here, pick a oval shape and holding ctrl shift make it like this. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change its color to this. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Now I need to make another copy of this circle, resize it, place it right beside of this circle. Again make another copy of it, resize it, place it here. Again make another copy, make it a smaller one, place it over here and make it a bigger one, right click on it, send it to back. Now we just need to organize these circles in a way so that it look like curly here. After that we need to make another copy of the small circle, place it here, again make another copy and then again make another copy and send it to back. Now I need to pick a rounded corner rectangle, drag it over here, increase the roundness of it, go to format, 
manually changes height to 0.6 inch and width to 1.4 inch. Now changes color from shape fill and make no outline. Now rotate it, bring it to here, make another copy, rotate it like this way, place over here, change this color from shape fill, resize it, press Ctrl D to duplicate, change this color again, make it a smaller one, place it over here, make another copy of this, make it a bigger one, place over here, Again select this small shape, make a duplicate of it, rotate it, place over here, resize it like this way. Now select this one, right click on it and bring it to front. Now select this shape again, resize it a bit more, click on this small icon and from here we need to increase the transparency to 18%. Now close it. After that, holding the control button, select all these shapes and place them here so that the hand joint matches perfectly. Now select these hand shapes and press Ctrl G to group. Then holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to here, go to format, go to rotate and select flip horizontal. Then selecting these two, right click on it and send them to back. Here pick a rectangle shape, drag it over here go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to this. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Now right click on it and send it to back. Then right click on this hand shape and ungroup them. And do the same for this one also. Right click on it and ungroup them. Here we need to select only these shapes and press Ctrl G to group. Do the same for this, select these shapes, press Ctrl G to group. After that, again we need to pick this rounded corner rectangle, drag it over here, place it in the exact middle, select this two grouped hand shape, right click on it and bring them to front. Then again select this shape, go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to white and make no outline. Increase the roundness of it, resize it from each side. Pick a oval shape, drag it over here, place it in the exact middle, go to format, click on shape fill, change this color to this and make no outline. Again select this rectangle, holding Ctrl shift, drag it to down, resize it, go to format, click on shape fill and change this color to this. Again holding Ctrl shift, drag it to down. Resize it like this way, holding Ctrl Shift, drag it to here and it will be duplicated. Then pick a oval shape, place it over here like this way, go to format, click on shape fill, change its color and make no outline. After that pick a oval shape and make it a smaller one. Then pick a rectangle, place it in the exact middle of this circle. Now select this two, go to format click on merge shape and select subtract. Now bring it to here, holding Ctrl shift, resize it a bit more, change this color from shape fill and make no outline. Again pick rounded corner rectangle, drag it over here, increase the roundness of it, resize it, place it over here and change this color from shape fill to white and make no outline. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate and bring it to here. Now select all these three shapes and press Ctrl G to group then holding Ctrl Shift drag it to here. Now click on rotate and select flip horizontal. Then pick a rounded corner rectangle again, drag it over here, increase the roundness of it, place it in the exact middle right click on it and send it to back and then go to format click on shape fill and change this color to this then go to shape outline make no outline now we need to resize it a bit more and place it a bit upward now we need to decorate the background so pick a hollow circle holding ctrl shift drag it over here 
Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color. Then go to shape outline and make no outline. Now zooming a bit, place it here, make a few copy of it and organize them in this way. Pick a oval shape, make it a smaller one, go to format, click on shape fill, change its color and make no outline. Again do the same, make a few copy and organize them. Now I need to pick a plus sign, make a smaller one, go to format, change the color from shape fill and make no outline again. Place it here and do the same thing. And our cartoon character is ready. You can download this template for free, I have given the download link in the video description. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure like and subscribe this channel. And don't forget to share with your friends. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.